want to say uh, welcome to Dale College. If you're watching this virtual open day as a prospective student, um, I would love to be able to say welcome officially, but, uh, but certainly for now, uh, welcome to the legacy that is Dale College. Um, yeah, if you're considering Dale College for a school next year, I want to say congratulations. You're in an exciting place. And um, yeah, there's a lot to Dale College and uh, it's certainly a privilege for me to be involved in the school. And, um, and I would love to be able to welcome you more formally as a Dalian. I want to start off by telling you a little bit about Dale College. Dale, um, I think the first thing to say is that, is that, is that Dale is a legacy, uh, a brotherhood of 159 years. It's an organization which is bigger than the individual, but uh, which is sensitive to the individual. Um, and our vision statement talks to that. Our vision statement says that, uh, that, that we must be a leading school in the Eastern Cape, um, developing learners who are, who are well-disciplined, confident in the English, well-versed in English. We're an English medium school, but uh, significantly important is that learners need to be grounded in their context of who they are. And, uh, and this is important to us at Dale. Um, while gaining a quality education, an all-round education is really what we need as we send our citizens out into the world. From that context, um, we need to gain a quality education and, uh, and the all-round environment that Dale College offers uh, makes it possible to do that. Our, our vision statement goes on to explain that Dalians need to develop strong academic foundations but also be exposed to a broad range of opportunities. Um, sports plays a phenomenal role in the Dale College context. I'll leave our, our sports administrator, Mr. Mbilu, to say a bit more about that. Uh, but let me talk about another aspect which has traditionally been strong at Dale College, is the fact that we're a boarding school. Um, today, we serve a greater number of, of, of learners who are local in the King William Sound community or commuting in and out of the school daily, but uh, the boarding facilities still have a special place in who we are at Dale College. And I want to say to you, if you're watching this from outside of the King Williamstown district, I would love to see your application on my desk. Another aspect of who we are, we see ourselves sensitive to learners in challenging financial positions. Um, while we're not in a position to offer bursaries, we pride ourselves on the fact that our fees are considerably cheaper than those of our rival schools. And uh, for a school boasting the facilities and the quality that we do, we feel that you would go far and wide to get better value for your money than to come to Dale College. Our motto tells a story which is truer today than it is, ever has been, and, um, and that is the motto of Per Ardua Ad Astra. Um, officially, or on our badge certainly, um, the, the motto Per Ardua is what is there, but, but part of that longer version. And I want to break that up for you. Uh, per Ardua means through adversity, and, 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 and we need to understand this. We live in challenging times and need more than anything else to develop the skills of perseverance and tenacity to keep fighting. No matter how big the challenges you face, we believe that you should be able to and should be equipped to rise above it. The second part of that, Ad Astra, talks about uh, to the stars. And, um, and for me, that's exciting. No matter how big your challenge, we don't believe you should settle for any lesser goal than that of the highest order. From the small town of King Williamstown in the heartland of the Eastern Cape, the kingdom of the Amakosa, we believe that here is a school, and we are that school, who will raise the next generation of world changers. Praja at Astra. We look forward to welcoming you to Dale College. prospective parents and prospective learners. My name is Vion Zima. I'm the deputy headmaster at the school and I'm also head of academics. We offer at this institution 17 subjects, English home language, Isikosa home language. I haven't made a mistake there. We are the only school that offers English home language and is a closer home language. Then you have Africans first additional. We have accounting, business studies. We have computer application technology. We offer creative arts. We offer economic management sciences, geography, history, life sciences, life orientation, mathematics, mathematical literacy, physical science, technology, 
and tourism. Those are the 17 subjects, and each of those subjects is headed by a subject head. The structure as it stands is that the head of academics has meetings, fortnightly meetings with subject heads, and from that meeting, we feed all that information to the headmaster and to the SMT so that we can deal with any challenges, nor give advice if it needs be to those various subjects. Let us understand that each subject has got its own assessment guidelines. So there are various standards that have to be met by each subject. And also as a school, we pride ourselves in academics. Emphasis, emphasis is on academics because this is an academic institution. To Eteo College, Guzuki Lempelu, the sports coordinator. Um, pretty much happy that we're having this video and we you guys are able to see the number of sports that we're able to offer you as you come here. We're able to offer you guys cricket in the summer, we're able to offer you guys soccer, we're able to offer athletics, basketball, debating, squash, tennis within the winter, rugby. Soccer being an all-year sport, hockey, chess being an all-year activity, debating, tennis as well being played throughout the year, and squash. Pride of the institution is the mere fact that we've had a number of our rugby players who've gone on to play for the Sharks, Western Province, etc. We've also um, are lucky enough to have been in partnerships with a number of universities. Um, we'll take our pupils, we'll go study, showing the link of academics and sport and the link that is important between the two. We've also been lucky throughout the years that we've partnered with the Eastern Cape Academy of Sport. We basically have been looking after our rugby players, we've been looking after our rugby as, as an institution and we trust that you guys will be very happy here participating in sport in the institution and enjoying yourselves. <laughs>